Hey there, it's Tom Corsonoles, and right now I'm going to share with you the secret to writing more books, writing them faster, without writer's block, without delaying, without procrastinating, and without not knowing what you're going to write about. It's a very simple, easy strategy you can use. And I even have the book template for you to download right beneath this video, so you can download the template and you can use the strategy. So here's what I do. I have my own book writing template. And every time I start writing a new book, I write it in this template in Microsoft Word. So here you'll notice that at the bottom here, I have 19 pages already written in my book, and I have 803 words already written in my book. So I have an 800 word and 19 page head start on authors who write with a blank piece of paper. Now nothing is more intimidating than looking at a blank document. Okay, this is a blank document. This is how most writers write. They say, Okay, I'm, I'm going to sit down now, I'm going to write my book, and then five hours later, guess what it looks like? Blank still. Why? Because your mind doesn't know how to compute. There's no structure for your mind to work with when you have a blank document. When you have a filled out template, just like this, it's so much easier because your mind, all you have to do is fill in the blanks. So this is the template you can download, you can use this template. All you do is you put right here the title of your book. Then you put the subtitle of your book. By the way, this is already formatted for Kindle as well, so it's going to make your formatting job a lot easier too. Then you put your author name. Then you put your copyright. Then you put, if you have a call to action here, if you have a website, an author site you want people to check out, then say, hey, check out my author website here. If you've got an opt-in form or an opt-in page or a free gift you're giving out to build your email list, then put your opt-in offer here. Okay, that's page one. Easy, right? Next, for nonfiction books, I always put why I wrote this book at the beginning of the book. And it's great for so many reasons. First of all, it's great because readers love when you get straight to the point and tell them why you wrote the book. Okay, that's, it just sounds obvious, but most writers never do that. They just start writing facts or boring information. And it loses the reader right away. But if you have the first section of your book is why I wrote this book, readers are going to have an emotional connection to you beyond just the facts and information in your book, and they're going to be more likely to, to buy it. Now remember that the first 10% of your book will be viewable through the Kindle's uh, Look Inside feature on the Amazon book page. So what you write in this first section of your book, they'll be able to read, and you want this section of your book to sell the book to cause readers who are looking inside your book to buy your book. So it's also great because it tells you right away what to start writing about. You start writing with why are you writing this book, okay? That's really important. Whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction doesn't matter. You should write down why you're writing this book either way. Because there has to be a reason, a drive, a motivation coming from inside of you as to why you're going to write this book. Because writing a book, you know, 5,000 word ebook is not too hard to write. You can write it in a day or two. You know, but writing an 80,000 word novel or a masterpiece of a nonfiction book that's 300 pages long, you know, that takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of commitment. So why are you writing your book in the first place? Write it down, if not for your reader, then at least for yourself, so you're clear on why you're writing your book. And I'll tell you, that alone will kill most of your writer's block, most of your procrastination. You won't need it anymore, because you'll understand why you're writing your book. Next, we have why you should read this book. Again, it's giving more benefits to the reader. It's telling readers, again for nonfiction, telling them why they should read the book, why this book is going to help them solve their problems. That's what nonfiction books do. Nonfiction books help readers solve problems. Now, fiction books, totally different. Fiction books are to educate, or to uh, inspire, or entertain readers, or tell a great story, and you can have you know philosophy and ideas and information within your fiction book, but it's going to have a different template. Obviously, this is a nonfiction template, and either way, again, I think you should write this section, even if you're a fiction writer, because this is the section that's going to go in your book description on Amazon, telling readers why they should read this book. Okay. Next, we have the table of contents. This is really simple, it's really easy. Uh, you just have your table of contents right here, it's already made. All you have to do is click up here, click references, and then click update table, and it'll automatically update the table of contents when you change the titles, the chapter headings, and everything for you. So I've done all the work for you in this template. It's super, super easy. All you have to do is plug and play. Next, we have chapter one. It says make this an awesome chapter, and then we have the chapter text, then we have a subheading, and we have chapter text, we have a sub subheading, and then we've got another subheading, another sub subheading. So all the thing is, all your whole book is laid out for you. It's really easy to do. 
Same thing, chapter 2, we've got chapter 3, chapter 4, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 11, chapter 12. So you've got 12 chapters of your book already done before you even start writing the book. Now obviously you're not going to publish your book like this, right? But the whole idea is that you're, you're basically tricking your mind into uh, understanding that you're serious about writing this book, you've already put in the work and the effort to download this template and to start writing in this template, you already have the structure to write your book. So when you have new ideas, they come to mind easily and you know where to put them in the structure, you, you're more organized in your writing, you write a lot faster, you write without the writer's block, without the procrastination, you're going to get a lot more done this way. Okay, finally we have the about the author section, I want you to insert a good uh, headshot or shot, a photo of yourself uh, in the about the author section. Uh, I could probably use a better photo, but whatever. And then you want to have your bio here. And just tell uh, readers about you. What do you? Where do you live? And what books have you written? And what have, what have you done? And what kind of work do you do? And whatever you want to share about your bio, make it short, make it sweet, but give readers some information about you. Make it look professional. You can have a link here to your website. Uh, here I have a link to my publishing company as well. Uh, next, you do other books by your, your name, by the author. So if you have multiple books, this is where you promote your other books. Now, you're not doing it flashy and saying, hey, go buy and download all my books, but you're just giving readers a convenient, easy list of your other books that they might be interested in. And this is how you get lots and lots of cross sales. This is how you turn one book sale into five and ten and twenty book sales from readers who love your work. Just make it easy for them to buy your book. If you make it easier for customers to buy your books, you're going to sell more books. Write that down. It's a very important rule. The easier you make it to buy your books, the more books you're going to sell. That's why publishing on Amazon is so powerful because they have one-click purchasing and they have 500 million credit cards in their system, in their database. So it's very easy for any one of those customers like me with our credit cards in the system to just click one button and download your book. It's simple, it's easy. That's why we sell lots of books on Amazon. You know, that's not the only reason why I sell more books on Amazon, but it's what makes it a lot easier than selling books on sites like Smashwords or Barnes and Nobles that, you know, it's a lot more complicated to download and buy books there. The sites aren't as clean and beautiful as Amazon. That's why I love Amazon, one of the many reasons, and that's why you're going to succeed as well publishing on Kindle. Okay, and the very last thing here, we have a one last thing here, and then it says, you know, if you enjoyed this book or found it useful, I'd be very grateful if you'd post a short review on Amazon. Your support really does make a difference, and I read all the reviews personally so I can get your feedback and make this book even better. Not only put that in there if you're serious, if you actually read the reviews, if you actually want to make your book better, and I hope that you do, but that's what I put in my books, and I'm serious about it. I read every single review. I don't respond to every single review, but I read them all, and any feedback, any information I can use to make my books better, I'm going to do it because I want to create the best books in the world to help my readers, and I hope you do too. Okay. Finally, if you'd like to leave a review, then all you need to do is click the review link on this book's page on Amazon here. Thanks again for your support. Okay, now here's how you get this link at the end. You won't be able to do it until you publish your book live. So I'm going to take them not to my Amazon book page, but to the Amazon review page. You don't even have an Amazon book page until you publish your book. But once you publish your book, here's what you do. You go to your book page on Amazon. So this is one of my books, 33 Ways to Raise Your Credit Score. And what you do is you go scroll down the page and click right here, write a customer review. Click write a customer review. Then you're going to take this URL up at the top, and this is the URL to take the customers directly to this page. So they don't have to go to your book page and then scroll down to find this button. You're doing it all for them. You're making it really easy to write reviews. And remember what I said before, when you make it easy for customers, they're going to buy more. Or when you make it easy for reviewers, they're going to review your book more. The next thing you do is take this URL up here at the top, copy it, and then you're going to go to bit.ly, bit.ly, or bitly.com. Then you're going to copy and paste that URL right up here, and bit.ly is going to give you a short little tracking link. Then you're going to hit copy, copy that tracking link, and then take it back to your book page, and copy that link right here, and then make sure you press space or enter, and then that should turn blue when it's a hyperlink. And that link will take them directly to the review page of your book, okay? That's how you make it easy for customers to review your book. And this is how you make it easy to write books by using this template. Because it's going to, like I said, it's going to kill the writer's block, it's going to kill the procrastination. You have no excuse when you download this template, but to start writing out, this book will help you to live the life of your dreams. And before you know it, you've got one sentence done in your book, and then you've got the next sentence done, the next sentence done, and you know, a few weeks or a few months later, you've got your first book done and you're so excited, and then you're publishing your book using the information in this course, you're marketing your book, you're making lots of sales, you're happy, you're living the life of your dreams as an author. That's what I want for you. I hope you found this video helpful. Download the template right now. Start writing your book if you haven't already. 
If you've already written books, then use this template in the future to make the process easier and smoother for you, okay? Have a fantastic day.